Okay, let's see. I will start with the cervical area. With R, yeah. Yeah. Cervical area. Okay, now I will put some brown. Huh? So you take a little bit white around around the brown you put slightly white to make a nice contrast yeah It's sustained this one. It's not neither 2D, neither 3D, okay? Okay. You see? Let's say I want the tooth wider. You go with medium. I will put some violet here. More transpa. You can change the whole shape with the transpa material, okay? Yeah, put like that. You can, you can control it. You see, if I want to go occlusally. some stain here cover it with glaze So when you put a lot of material like I'm doing now with 3D and 2D, okay, so you create the whole shape again if you want. But don't destroy it. If the color is not good, it's your mistake. <laughs> yeah, 3D. No, wait, wait, wait. Let me tell you something. Clean it. You go underneath the material. Not, you know. Very good. Yeah. Make horizontal lines, can you? Uh, at the end, we will, uh, yeah. Okay, nice. Tell me your feelings. <laughs> so, it's important to know how to control the material. And then...
Ya. Bisi. Right. Some stains here. Okay, so I covered everything. Maybe if you miss some areas, because we I like to apply the 3D material on dry zirconia. Sometimes you miss small areas. You can add after glaze alone and, you know. Yep. You can make it look natural. Let's put it in the furnace and see what will happen. I didn't put glaze, but look how it is glazed. Cool. Start. Okay. Actually, lithium desilicate. Lithium desilicate always you have to put it two times, three times, and hand times six minutes or four minutes. Okay? Let it take a little bit more time. This is Lisi. Okay? Ceramos and Lisi. I'm denting light. This is medium, this is light, yeah? Because everything 1M2, 1M1, you need the light. These dentines, 3D material, is to create more volume to the crown. When you create more volume, uh, you see here, it's a little bit reddish here, it's light, okay? Okay, you go up, we are changing the volume. It's important to know that not every case you have to use 3D material. Only when you need to add. I will put... I will put some lumen too, inside the lumen. I want to show you how the material can be, how much advantages you have, okay? You see how it holds horizontally? It stays, so imagine what you can create. I will leave that one hour. You, any other material, either it gets dry, or it fell down, or when you come back, oh, you cannot touch it, I cannot put it back in the furnace. Forget all of that. As we said, some stains. You have to put it a little bit thick because there is glaze inside and I want it to glaze. Yeah, all good now. So you go a little bit like that. Okay. We have some fissures. We have some white here. 
we will have some transparent texture with the material Okay, so I'm working only on textures, yeah? You can change the whole shape. This is transparent. Yeah. We'll make a nicer incisor edge. The nice thing is what you what you see here as colors, you will have the same at the end. Okay, take a little bit lumen. You can control the incisor edge. Yeah. Do you want to play with the incisor edge? Do you want to try? Come. Try to move move your incisor edge. <laughs> you can see? No? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Put some liquid. Yeah. She's making a nice video, but I want to put that it's still the same. Yeah? Next. Okay, Let, leave it here. <laughs> cool? So, let's say I have to move it like that. Even you can, you can add stain on the incisor edge, like if you want a little bit you can put on 3D material some stains. No problem, yeah? You can make the shape of the lingual side, the whole shape, with 3D material, yeah? So you can add all of that. What are we going to have for lunch? You know? You see, you can, you can create the whole lingual. Look how much I'm adding. And then, put some stains here. Now, a lot of areas, there is nothing on it. I have to put glaze. You see, it's still dry. Can you see? Either I can put those like that to fix my position, what I did, and then I will cover everything with glaze. Or we can try. Let's see, but... I don't want the things to fall down. You see, you have to be very careful. I think it will need a second time. But we change a lot in the form, yeah? In the shape of the tooth. Okay, you see? And the glaze, the consistency of the glaze must be a little bit uh, thick. So it does glaze, really. Yeah? <laughs> 